Hey, welcome back. This time we're going to look at this forge that has come quite a long way since it started off two years ago as just really a pile of fire bricks with some steel surrounding it. And I'll show you how it's changed over time and how I improved it and why I improved it. In its current state right now, the last thing I've done to it is I've put insa wool, ceramic wool on the inside to make sure it's burning more efficiently and I sealed that up with Mizzou Refractory. And I'm going to be doing a similar process on a, another forge that I built for my dad for his birthday. So here's the forge that I started working on for my dad for his birthday. It's pretty much finished now. I just painted it. And now what I'm going to do is line it with that ceramic blanket material. I'm going to put the refractory in there, make sure it's cured, and we'll fire it up. So look for a video on this coming up on my channel. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and you're notified when I have videos coming out about how I put this one together. And I'll also do one on the burner I'm going to make. It's going to fit in here and be set in there with set screws. A little bit different than this design where I have welded on the flange to the top plate. So okay, let's go back two years ago and check out how this has evolved into what you see now. All right, so here's the forge setup. This is the design I came up with using some scraps I had around this uh, square tubing that I had I thought would be a good foundation and surround the fire bricks. So I'm going to go with these Rutland fire bricks I found the only ones I could really find around close by and they found is at Ace Hardware about $30 for six of them and they look like this they're the size of those is nine inch by four and a half by an inch and a quarter and I cut off the top two bricks to fit sideways on this and I'll show you how that all fits together so for my top plate I have a quarter inch piece of steel which I had a real hard time cutting because I don't have an oxyacetylene torch or a plasma cutter I cut it in, ended up cutting it with some um, so cutoff wheels, actually I had one cutoff wheel and I wore it all the way down and I scored it and then I finished off with a sawzall with a bimetal blade and I was able to get that down like that. This you can see is pretty rough but that opening I had to use my drill press and some drill bits to kind of rough out that hole. So the reason I have that quarter inch plate is so I can mount the burner on there and I'm going to weld that in place. So below this then you can see I used a uh, masonry blade on the angle grinder and I just ground out as much as I could away and, and tried to get as close to a circle as I could. We're going to see how that works. These bricks also I had to cut and I cut this with a, a tile saw blade or brick cutting blade with the skill saw so that they would fit in here like that. Dimension wise, my opening I have about four and a half inches wide by three and a quarter tall by nine. Thank you. 